Welcome to video two of our video series on the grade 12 CAT or computer application technology prac exam or paper one from November 2019. We are looking at the second word document question, question two. Okay, so question two, we have opened up the document to visit and it says change the line spacing of the first paragraph to double. So there's our page. I'm going to select the first paragraph and change the line spacing. So there's the spacing. So you can come here to the paragraph line spacing. We want to change it to double. So there we go. Okay, so that's as easy as it is. Then 2.2, apply automatic hyphenation to the document. Automatic. So what does that mean? So well, we're going to come here to, oh, there it is. We're on the loud part. There's hyphenation. Just click on those options. There's automatic. There we go. And you can select automatic hyphenation to the document. Okay. 2.3, change the style of the page number to any accent bar style. Change the style of the page number to any accent bar style. Okay, so let's go down to the page. There's the page number. I'm going to select the page number. And we are in the head and foot. So I'm going to put page number, keep it at the bottom. But we want X. Oh, there's accent bar style. There are different styles. There's like four of them, I think, four different styles. I'll just keep it on the bar style tools. So that's the same area. There we go. Okay, so that's accent bar style for all of them. There we go. So 2.4, replace the text crowds on the first page with a cross-reference to the heading. So there's a heading tourist influx. So we must cross-reference to the first on the first page to the heading tourist influx. Okay, so there's the word crowd. So we're going to select the word crowds. And we're going to come here to references. And there's the cross-reference, and we want to cross-reference to the heading. If you don't see the heading, it might be on something else, but make sure that you've selected the heading. And tourist influx, that's the one we want. We're going to insert it and close. There we go. There's the, due to the heavy tourist influx, so there's a cross-reference to that particular point. So people can click on Control and that link, and it'll take them to that heading. 2.5, we must add the text India Tourism as a corporate author to the Visit Wonderful India source. Okay, so India Tourism, corporate author. So for that, we need to go to our references. We want to go to manage our sources. And there's our wonderful India. We're going to edit that one. And we want a corporate author. There, corporate author. So we can click on corporate author. And we want it to be, what did they say? India tourism, India tourism, so not author, but a corporate author, and click OK. So there we go, that's how we do that. 2.6, we must find the citation at the end of the first paragraph below the tourist influx heading, and we want to edit just the citation, not the source, just this, a citation to refer to pages 43 to 49, 43 to 49. So let's go have a look. So if we go, there's the heading. Tourist influx, there's the reference, there's the, so I'm going to right click on that one and we want to edit, not the source, but the citation. Oh, pages, there we go. So we're going to go 43 to 49. So I'm just going to say that's okay. So there it's included the pages, 43 to 49. 2.7, find the table below the heading short facts about the Taj Mahal and edit the table to display as follows. The table should fit across the page. So we want it to look like this. So there's a like a border around it. There's a merge cell, one, two, three, and so on. So let's go find that table and edit it to look like this. Let's go find that. Ooh, there's the table. Now, first thing, it must go through the whole page. So there's our table. I'm going to select the table. I'm going to right click and see if we've got table properties. Ooh, there, preferred width. We don't want it to be 60. We want it to be 100%. Click OK. So now it's the whole page. Now we want to merge that first one. So I'm going to right click and merge those cells so there we go so let's have a look so that's fine and the only thing that's missing there's this border it's got a black border with a little thin border around it although that top one seems to be just plain black the first block was actually gray i don't know if they want us to shade that first block into some sort of gray i'm going to do it anyway just because i can select the table we want to go to border styles so let's go to look at more border, border, go to border, more borders and shading. That's going to be our better bet over there. So we can see the different styles. So I want the outer border to be a particular style. Which one? Let's look over here. That's one. That's the one I want. 
and I want that to be both on the sides, boom, on the outside and underneath. And I wasn't, I'm not 100% sure if that is the same one at the top, but it looks like it's a plain one on the top. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference if I make it the same. But just in case, I'm just going to make it a plain border on the top. So just a plain thick border on the top. I'm not sure if that's exactly what they want, but they have got a border. Maybe they want that one as well, that like we've got on the sides on the top. But let's have a look. Go, okay. Does it look similar to that? Okay, my border's not, uh, the, the thick part is on the outside, so it's not exactly like they've got it here. It's the, this is always on the outside. So what I'm gonna, I'm, let's try to get it as close as we can to it. So I'm gonna select this table and go back to borders. And I want the thick part to be on the outside. So let's try that one on the bottom. That's working, but now the side one's not working. Let's see if we try that one on the side. There we go. That looks a bit better. So there's a black border on the outside every single time. So let's try that. There we go. That looks spot on. Okay, 2.8. We must find the numbered list below the heading Taj Mahal timings and bookings. And we want a new multi-level list that looks something like this. So we've got one, twos, and threes, and A, Bs, and Cs. So there's two levels. Um, they actually give us the details. Do not change the indent and the text position of the first level numbering. So we're not going to change that. But the sec set the alignment of the second level to 1.7 and the indent to 1.5 so we they give us the settings for that that's quite nice so this is level one level one is just a number followed by a bracket it's the number of this level so this is one two three and then level two is a just a letter for that level followed by a bracket on both of them so let's go try that so let's go find that particular oh there it is so first of all select all the text it is that hey correct Yes, that is it. So first we're going to select the text area. So that's what we want to do. And we're going to come here to define a new multi-level list. We're going to find a new multi-level list. So they said don't change anything to the first level. So the first level with regard to the, the indentation. So I'm going to leave it. But we're going to put in a number. Start. We want it to be a number followed by a bracket. Okay, so there we can see our number with the bracket. Now I'm going to go to level 2, and we do want the A. And if you didn't have it, you could always go get it from here if you wanted. But we wanted A followed by a bracket. But they gave us some specifications. They said that the second level numbering, the alignment must be 1.7. So the alignment must be 1.7. So let's make that 0.7. I think it was 0.7. 0.7 and the indent must be 1.5 and the indent must be 1.5 centimeters i think that's what they want and i click ok boom and then we want to set it up so that it looks like this so it's one when the a b c and then the rest of them are all numbers so if i come to this one this one must be tabbed this one must be tabbed and this one must be tabbed and then it's got two three four there we go so because we selected everything and applied it to everything, it works perfectly. 2.9, we must insert a pie chart in the space provided and use the data from the spreadsheet called two time found in the examination folder and ensure the chart title has time spent. Okay, so we've got a couple of things there. Lots of ways of doing it. Um, so I've got the document opened over here. So I need that data. We could create one here and then go, copy and paste it. I suppose that's one way. Um, another way is if we come, let's go find, there we, so we're going to come here to insert and we want to insert an object and I want it to be an Excel chart. So let's go, let's do that. So there's my chart and I want to get to my data. So I'm actually going to paste, if I've copied it correctly, there we go, we copied it. So I'm going to paste my data in there and just get rid of all of this other stuff that we don't need so there we go so there's my data but my chart doesn't look that great so first thing you first i'm going to right click here and change the chart type i want it to be a pie chart so let's make it a pie chart thank you and oh there's some data that's selected that i don't like so i'm going to right click on it and select the data yeah i, don't, I just want i just want that data thank you there we go that looks a lot better and it's time spent, I think they said at, if you there's time spent at the Taj Mahal. I think there's a the missing. Time spent at the, so let's just click on there, type in the Taj Mahal. 
And there we go. I think there's our chart. Let's go double check, see what it looks like. There we go. There's our chart. And last bit, 2.10, change the page color so that the two back picture in the examination folder appears the background. So it's the page color we change, but we change it to a color or to a picture, sorry. We're not using a watermark. So remember, it's not watermark. So let's go to that's part of the design, I think it is. Oh, so it's not a watermark. It's the page color. Ooh, and we're going to go full effects. I think there's a picture option there. There's the picture. Oh, there we go. And we must go select the picture. And we're going to work offline because we're not go find we're in our exam folder there's the two back folder there we go i'm going to click on that one insert it yes please there we go so there's the picture that's on the back okay great they didn't specify anything else but the properties now we go and there we go and that's the question done that's situation two done make sure that you save and that's question two support the channel by clicking on that subscribe button make sure that you leave a like or a comment of other things you want us to cover and look at our playlist for other topics that can help you in your exams and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way